I'm not sure which cliche to use um, this evening, but I'm going to start off by saying, really, after the Lord Mayor show, I think um, we just weren't at the races, were we? <laughs> no, I think they've done all the basics better than us. I think they, um, the two centre halves won it, everything in the year. We made it easy for them because we, we put everything central. Uh, space was on, on the outside. We tried to get it down, but I'm not going to... I don't want to moan about the surface, but the surface is... And they played the surface better than us today because uh, the, the spike, because they played such a low block uh, uh, and it, we don't get the space in behind to use our, our pace. So fair play to them. They come with that and, and they've done, done it really, really well. And uh, that's, that's them. But um, we, we had space in front, but because the pitch doesn't allow you to actually get on the ball, we end up playing into it. The goal was um, a defensive error, really, wasn't it, the first one? Yeah. I mean, um, it took too long to clear, and they, they worked it well, didn't they? It was yeah. a good finish. You can't blame the goalkeeper for that, who played excellent. No, no, I no. thought uh, Jackson Smith, first half, kept us in the game. And the second goal, really, was uh, another mistake, and that crucified us in the end. And yeah. uh, it was uh, one of those glaring error games. It must be really frustrating when you, you see what Kettering can do, and you go and see a performance like that, Allah with the Chester one. So you, you get the Jekyll and Hyde performance, don't you? Yeah, it's. Um, I'm not going to criticise the players whatsoever. I mean, I I, I was um, a little bit critical at uh, Chester because we didn't. Well, rightly to, so. I mean, yeah, was... we didn't get to them levels. <coughs> uh, but tonight's different. Tonight's different. Uh, they they caught us because of their low block. They caught us on on two ones. We should have dealt with the first one a lot quicker than we did, which gives them time and the second one is, is on the transition anyway and uh, we get caught at the far post but that's them that, that they, they played with it well but what's very very frustrating is it becomes like a basketball game here where there's no control of the ball and it becomes crappy doesn't it yes it does um, and the surface um, I know that ain't why we lost don't get me wrong because we they beat done Rock it on it, didn't we? we beat yes. um, Chorley on it you know yes and, yes uh, but the surface uh, that's a different one because truly come at us. These didn't come at us today because they... they yeah, they like Jack Russell's, yeah, weren't they, yeah, around the, they the, were, the uh, They let us come on to them and then picked us off on, on, on there. But uh, now we've, uh, we've got a lick of wounds and come back on Friday. Yeah, results went for Catherine as well, didn't they, on, on, on the night as well. I think the other games ended in draws. So, oh, uh, did they? Yeah, it's not... You know, it's made it... Uh, Difficult, I suppose, but it's still there, isn't it? You know, and people are going to be disappointed, frustrated, like we all we all are were. But um, as we said, you know, weeks ago or a few weeks ago, to put in this position that we're in, to be fighting at a corner to get something out of the season at this stage, is still very good. Oh, it's excellent. It's excellent. I'd rather be in this position here and being disappointed uh, for our performance tonight. Um, than just playing, ticking off games and just seeing it, seeing it yeah, out to the end of the season. At least we've got something to look forward to. We've we've got to respond very, very, very well against Gloucester. They will come to us in good form as well. They had a good well, win. Them for one, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, we can. So um, it's, it's it's important that we we, we keep battling away and and keep focused. I suppose it's also good that it's a game so quickly as well, isn't there? After this, you know, cause it, this is disappointing. Got a decent crowd, you know they. Want to see Kettering get into the playoffs, and um, that didn't. Well, it might still happen. Who knows? But um, they've not seen a particularly good game, so we can get back at Gloucester, and then two days later we've got Kidderminster. So it, yeah. it is a continual, to continual circle, isn't it? Of games. We knew this would test us. These four games in nine days. So, um, um, like I said before, the whole squad would be mm. neutralised uh, amongst these games. Uh, is that why Crawford didn't start? He just give him a bit of a rest. Well, he felt his hamstring. At Farsley, uh, so we have to be careful with that. I don't want him out long term. No. Uh, so uh, he came on and gave us, gave us a spark, um, which they have to do anyway. Anyone coming off the bench have to. So we were chasing it a little bit, and we put four forwards on. But again, it was it was very much um, a lot of the balls were straight down the middle, which made it easy for them. It was the second goal that was the killer, really. I think you know we may have got something out of it. So at one point, I did think, "Where's a goal going to come from?" Yeah. 
and especially with that great save from the keeper from Stead's header. I mean, I, I was up. I thought that was in. It was a fantastic save. Yes, at first uh, that that was that was a big yeah. That was big a, turning like a Jim point. Montgomery was, yeah, save to me um, at Sunderland. You know, it was a, a fantastic save. save you yeah. know, and then the one that he saved earlier. He played well the goalkeeper. That's what they're there for, obviously. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, but little things like that can change the game. You know, I think. Yeah. And uh, I thought, you know, we'd we'd have gone there with that with, with Stead's header. But uh, the second half, we didn't create a great deal in front of goal. Cameron Mason didn't have a lot to do, did he? Or, um, Owen Mason even yeah, and didn't have a lot to, um, to do in that second half and you said they marshalled as well I think so I th- full credit to them Mabika at the back I thought was excellent yeah you know, I thought was... the two centre centrals were excellent they headed everything they got first contact every time it went in their box uh, no, so f- uh, I got no complaints about the result whatsoever uh, I'm frustrated because <laughs> uh, we have no control uh, in, in the games that we're playing here uh, and that's my frustration Tactically, how are you going to deal with that for future games? It's not going to get any better, is it? Um, no. The pitch is going to get harder. As the, as the, it's either one thing or the other, really. It's either a quagmire or it's it's really hard. And yeah. as the summer begins to develop, we've only got three more games at home, I think. Yeah. You know, So we're going to have hard pitches unless we have some rain. Yeah. How does that tactically, how, how do you look at your team talks and what you want to do? And then you go away to the plushness of other clubs. It, it must be difficult tactically to, to deal oh, with. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Um, and that's why... I want my teams to be in control of games and being in control of games is having the ball uh, and, and it's hard here it really is and uh, we're um, we felt I felt for him today because we knew where the space was and where we could try and get it but it was actually trying to get hold of the ball and playing into them spaces so uh, no we'll go again we'll go again and uh, um, we, we, we need a reaction for Friday Definitely. Thanks for coming in. I know you probably didn't want to come in after that, but uh, I can appreciate that as well. Ah, but, uh, you know, thanks for coming in. And, yeah, let's have a get back at the races on on Friday and uh, we'll see you then. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. Cheers.